If you had the option to design a city from scratch, what would it look like? That question was asked by the Abu Dhabi Future Energy Company in 2006, and Mazdar City was born. With the goal of creating the world's most energy-efficient multi-use city, Mazdar City has been designed as a green print for sustainable urban development. The development features the best of urban living with sustainable technologies. The goal of Mazdar City is to be a complete model for sustainable community development in the region and beyond, experimenting with innovative solutions for the future so all cities can benefit from them. Welcome back to Genesis. In today's video, we will look inside the upcoming project of Abu Dhabi's $22 billion futuristic city, the Mazdar City. Before we proceed, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell for regular updates. It is Abu Dhabi's commitment to becoming the ultimate capital for innovative thought and action, with its goals of becoming an international capital for renewable energy and environmental industries. Mazdar is a planned city that seeks to pioneer large-scale renewable energy and ecological technologies in order to help Abu Dhabi diversify its economy away from dependence on hydrocarbon extraction. Construction began on Mazdar City in 2008. Abu Dhabi's $22 billion futuristic Mazdar City is being constructed 17 kilometers east-southeast of the city of Abu Dhabi, a five-minute drive from Abu Dhabi International Airport, and 40 minutes from Dubai. It was designed to be a hub for clean tech companies, and its first tenant was the Mazdar Institute of Science and Technology. The futuristic city was introduced in 2006 and was supposed to cost $18 to $22 billion, which would make it one of the most expensive cities in the world. The government's proposal called for covering six square kilometers, which were initially expected to be ready by 2010. This implementation, however, proved to be too ambitious considering how large and complicated the project was, and extended the completion date from 2010 to 2020 to 2025 and currently 2030. According to the plan, the city would have between 45,000 and 50,000 residents and 1,500 companies, mostly shops and factories that specialize in green products. In response, it is anticipated that 60,000 plus workers will commute into the city every day. As few as 300 students at the Mazdar Institute lived on site as of 2016, and fewer than 2,000 people are employed in Mazdar. The city aims to set an example by emphasizing sustainability and exhibiting more environmentally friendly urban living. To achieve these goals, Mazdar City is implementing an integrated water management system that will recycle rainwater and wastewater streams by employing collection systems. Mazdar City will also attempt to incentivize behavioral changes to conserve potable water through public education campaigns. Mazdar City is a sustainable, state-of-the-art, mixed-use development designed to be very friendly to pedestrians and cyclists. The sustainable city boasts low-carbon lifestyles, renewable energy sources, and an environment where green infrastructure is at the forefront of design. Mazdar City is a sustainable community built to offer a pleasant environment for living and working while drastically lowering its carbon impact. It's constructed on an old desert location with terracotta walls adorned with arabesque motifs and a 45-meter high wind tower to keep the streets cool. In comparison to the nearby desert, the temperature in the streets is typically 15 to 20 degrees Celsius lower. To produce a minor cooling effect, the site is elevated above the surrounding terrain. In order to create streets and pathways that are shaded from the sun, buildings are grouped closely together. The original plan forbade cars because transportation would be handled by personal rapid transit and public mass transit systems, with existing roads and trains linking to other sites outside the city. Narrow shaded streets that help channel cooler breezes throughout the city are made possible by the lack of motorized transportation and Mazdar's perimeter wall, which is intended to keep out the hot desert winds. The PRT, Public Rapid Transit, a lightweight driverless vehicle, will be used to move both goods and supplies and people. However, in a revised plan, PRTs will not be the only means of citywide public transportation. Instead, Mazdar will utilize a combination of electric and other clean energy vehicles for internal city mass transit. The majority of private vehicles will only be allowed in parking garages outside the city. The proposed and postponed light rail and metro lines in Abu Dhabi will link Mazdar's city center with the larger metropolis. Mazdar City is home to the Mazdar Institute of Science and Technology, a graduate-level research university focused on alternative energy, environmental sustainability, and clean technology. 
the headquarters of the International Renewable Energy Agency, commonly known as IRENA, and a regional headquarters for Siemens, an incubator building that includes retail and office space to house startups, small and medium-sized enterprises, and regional offices for multinationals. The initial master concept envisioned a metropolis running entirely carbon neutrally on its own grid. However, once the development was integrated into the public system, its administrators came to the conclusion that the city would never achieve net zero carbon emissions in 2016. A 22 hectare field of 87,777 solar panels, along with additional panels on roofs, powers Mazdar. There are no water taps or light switches in the city. Instead, lighting and water are controlled by movement sensors, which reduces resource usage by 51 and 55 percent, respectively. According to Mazdar's principal architect, Gerhard Evenden, the initial concept planned for rooftop solar panels to power the entire city. Mazdar has been working with other companies to design surfaces with pores smaller than sand particles to prevent them from adhering to the panels because blowing sand has been a concern for its solar panels. Researchers at the Mazdar Institute are also developing sand and bacteria repellent coatings for solar panels and other purposes. The city is being developed by the Abu Dhabi government and is backed by multinational energy giants Total, Siemens, and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and is expected to be completed by 2030. Let's wait patiently to see what the future has in store for the desert green city. Would you like to live in this future city? Let us know in the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.